The last icon here in the Pathfinder in the Shape Modes area is Exclude. If I select these three shapes and just take note that this circle in magenta is at the top, if I select these and press the Exclude icon, Everywhere that the two shapes overlapped, uh, a piece of that is cut out. I'll show you that. So anywhere that the two shapes overlapped, it was cut out. Where these three overlapped, that was retained. And you can see, in this case, it turned this into a group. I wanted you to note that the pink the circle that was at the top, it was at the top of the stacking order, and therefore that object dictated the final color of this, this group here. It took on the pink, and it also would retain the stroke of that top object. I'm just going to undo that, and again show you that an alt click on here turns that into a compound shape and you can still access any of the original shapes and do some editing, move them around. If you were to expand it at this point, then it will turn that compound shape into one uh, compound path entity. It's one entity. Okay, if I want to take the star and I want to divide it into two pieces and I want a little squiggly line, then I'm going to come with my pencil tool and I'm going to draw this little squiggly line here that's going to divide my star. I come back around here press my Alt key to close that path. And just so I can see it a little better, I'm going to change the color here. Uh, so there's the squiggly path. And I want to divide the star. Uh, so, because I want to divide the star, I want my star to be the top object. Uh, but I'm going to select both objects and actually first I'm going to change this fill here. Okay, so I'll select both objects and then I'm going to divide them. Now they instantly become a group. I'm going to right click and ungroup them. And then when I start pulling this apart, you will see that I have divided that star with the shape that I had drawn. And uh, this one also was changed. The next icon on the Pathfinder panel or palette is called Trim. And it's just easiest to think of trim as having this shape here. I'm going to call that the dough. And this shape is going to be my cookie cutter. And I'm going to make another one. So when I, I'll put this right here on the cookie dough. And when I select both shapes, the shape on the bottom will be the one that's cut up. So when I click here, trim, you can see it turned into a group. I'm going to ungroup it. And when I pull this one off, you can see that it has cut a hole into that cookie dough shape. So just so you can see that, I'll take 
this and send it to the back. So you can see it cuts a hole out of it. And you can also, if you put it partway on there and you trim, and again, you need to, now, don't forget, we have this tool over here, the group selection tool. So let's use it and pull that one away. And you can see that it has cut out the, it's cut the lower shape, cut out of the lower shape. Okay, the merge tool. If I put this and overlap it here, select both objects. If these two are the same uh, fill and stroke, then when I click Merge, this is going to merge with the other. Now, it seems to me that, that that's just the same as Unite, but hey, that's what my notes say.